Hello friends, Tony here. So in the previous video we worked with uh, shortcuts. We click the slash and it's focused the input here to search for something we want. Okay, so on the window object we just click slash and we are focused on the input to search for something. Now if you go to Laravel documentation, you can see here we have a search. This is not an input. If I click it's going to open a model to search which is powered by Algolia and uh, I want to do something similar in our project. So let's close this and in the project here I want to make this a button and when we click open a model and there we have uh, input to search for what we want. For that I have opened the Tailwind UI here and we have an example of a model which is a free Isric JS as you can see here and I'm going to use this one. First, let's open the VS Code and modify this to make a button. Okay, so I'm going to open the search uh, blade. And here, let's add first a parent div. And in this parent div, I'm going to add the button. Type is going to be button and add some classes here. And also I'm going to add uh, SVG and a span to say search. So just to save some time, I paste, I have pasted the classes here on SVG and a span with class PR6 and say search. Now here is the button and also let's move the logic. I'm going to cut this and move it inside the parent div. And yeah, we need to, I'm going for now, I'm going to comment this leave only the button just to see how it's going to look. So open here and yeah, it's looking like this. Now when we click, I want to open a model which I'm going to copy from the Tilewind UI. And this one is free, but you have more than this one. So I'm going to copy this and come here. After the button, I'm going to use the live wires uh, teleport. So I'm going to say teleport and so this is going to move the modal at the end of the body and also we need to end the teleport like this and let's save right now if i open the project the model is going to show as you can see but we want to show this only if we click to the button here to the search so for that what we can do in the parent div here and uh, I'm going to remove this one just to save some time I'm not going to add easy on duration and so on but you can do that based on the state it's very easy so let's go up here on the parent I'm going to initialize the alpine js x data to be equal with and here I'm going to add an object and I'm going to create a state show modal and this uh, mod show modal state is going to be false by default okay now based on this property here or state what you can call it i want to show and hide the model so in this parent div of the model i'm going to say x show to be able with the show modal state or, or property i'll save that come here as you can see it's not showing now when we click here i want to change the show model to true and then it's going to show the model so here is the button and we can use the on click event and when we click i'm going to say show model to be able to true so we change the state the true and then if i click it's going to show when we click outside also i'm going to remove the buttons i don't want to cancel from the button i just want to cancel with a click outside of the model so let's remove uh, buttons where yeah here we have buttons click here and when we click outside i want to close the model if we click here nothing is going to change 
So for that, we, what we can do is, let's see where we have, yeah, here we have the BG white, which means this model, uh, this div, I'm going to add here on click event, and I'm going to use the modifier outside, outside, when we click, which means when we click outside of this div, and what we want is to change the state from show model to true to be show model false. Okay, so when you click outside, I'm going to say show model to false. And let's refresh. If I click outside, close. If I click inside, nothing is going to change. Very good. Just now, I don't want this to be in the center. I want to be up here, the same we have in the Laravel and also I want to pass there not this text but the input to search for what we want. So first let's say here we have a flex min h full. I'm going to remove this one also the items end and uh, text center and small items center and just see now if I save this, click, yeah, we have up here, very good. Now let's remove what we have inside this div. With the BG white. So I'm going to remove this and paste the logic here at the search. So I'm going first to uncomment, cut and paste it here. Save to indent this. I want to remove now also the relative class in the div here. Also the width is not going to be 96 and also max width large. I'm going to see to make a width full because right now, so if I leave it like this and see, yeah, we have the input but I want to be full width so for that I'm going to say fulls here to take the full width and let's see now yeah now it's okay if we type a for something let's try again why we have that so in yeah it's not going to show because I removed the related class and when I, here we have a uh, absolute so we need to remove also the absolute from here and now let's try as you can see here is the result and if we type something here yeah we have the results here okay now we to remove the search and Let's click. As you can see, uh, we need to go here on the input and, and click and then type for something. What I want is if I open the model, I want to, this to be focus. For that, if you go to Alpine.js and down there we have plugins and we have focus here. And I'm going to install this via CDN. I'm going to add this via CDN. So copy that and open the we need to open the app blade in the layouts and here I'm going to paste that one so I'm going to add the Alpine.js focus plugin save close this and with that what we can do is we just can say x trap and pass the state so copy that and paste it in the when you show the model paste that one and the x trap is going to be on the show model state or property. Now you can see if I refresh and open the model, the input is focus and we just can type for something. And that's it, okay. But always has some but is what I want is open also with the keyboard shortcut, not just go by going here, okay? So what we can do is we worked in the previous video with shortcuts and here we have an example. So let's copy this one 
and instead of passing in on the input I want to add this on the button here and maybe add at the end of the button like this okay so I added here but uh, we don't have this method search post and I'm going to change this from search post to say uh, handle k down and we need to create now the, math the method here so let's click copy and here we have the x data after the property here I'm going to create a method which is going to receive the event and what we want to do in here so let's say first the indent here what we want to do is to change the show model state to true and we can access the show model by saying this dot show model to be able with true and let's see and if I type slash yeah it's going to open we can click and type something okay click outside slash again yeah yes but if I want to also close with a shortcut keyboard shortcut for example with the escape right now it's not possible it's possible only with if I click here and what we can do also is to come here and create listen for another keyboard shortcut so we can say for example k down not slash but escape and for example here I'm going to say handle escape k down or handle escape only what you like I'm going to copy and here let's create that one which this one what is going to do is going to change from true to false and let's say slash type something so okay now if I click escape it's not working because we need to say false here okay my bad so slash type something escape close slash but as you can see uh, when we escape uh, the search is remaining here what I want is also to clean the search so let's open the search class and here we have the property public property search which is initially is an empty string also when I close the model I want that property to be an empty string and how we can access from live from a alpine to live wire so we can access from alpine the live wire property is by saying dollar sign wire dot and the name of the property which is in this case is search and I'm going to say this one is going to be an empty string let's say come here right now I'm going to remove manually and let's open with a keyboard shortcut slash type something for example here okay now if I click escape as you can see the we have only tasks so the search is empty let's click slash again not here slash and here's a slash and type something escape good slash type something escape good type something here escape very good I think we are okay so let's open also with a button yeah type something escape good now uh, here we have handle key down slash window or key down escape window but we can just say key down window and here we have an event as you can see I'm going to remove now this one and instead of having two methods we can have only this one and check if the event code is for example the show is slash and here is the event code for escape for the slash is uh, 91 so what we can say here is here if the event key code is 
wpl191, which is for the slash. I'm going to say this model to be true or if the event key code is 27 which is a uh, escape what we want is to say this model false so copy and paste change this to be false and also we need to say dollar sign wire dot search to be equal with an empty string and let's save let's come here refresh and let's say slash ok type something here very good now if I click escape one escape two is going to close and also clean that one that's it all about this video friends how to add a model and how to make a beautiful search here and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best thank you very much